السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. إن شاء الله we look at our next topic in النحو الواضح أو Arabic grammar which is and even though it is النحو we are looking at some صرفيات some sciences of morphology at this portion of the book. Actually in the beginning of the Arabic knowledge gathering when we talk about النحو and Nahu guarded both the grammar we are doing today, which we've separated as Nahu and the Sarf. And Nahu in the previous days, the early days of Arabic language, guarded both into one science. And then later, it was seen worthy of being separated. The science of Sarf was, was seen worthy of being separated. So even though this is a Nahu book, these portions of the book is taking us through some Sarfiyat, yani. So a blend of surf and then the nahu, how the word will be written has to do with surf and how the pronouns that are coming in that has to do with nahu. Okay, so we are looking today at just a topic under what we've been doing. It's nadul madi and naqis, fi'il which is naqis, that is the fi'il that ends with a harful illa, a fi'il, a verb that ends with either alif, waw or yai. Okay. So they are joining them to a Damir Arrafu. Damir Arrafu, now we know them. The Taul, Taul Fa'il, which is Tu, Ti, Ta, Tum. Tuma, all those are the part of the Tau. They use the Tau Dhamma to represent all those Taul Fa'il. And then we have the Na Al Fa'ilin. And then we have the Yai Niswa, uh, Yai Al Muhataba. And then we have the Nunu Niswa, we have the Wawi Jama'a. We all those and then alif list name, those are the Adama Irafu. So we look at some verbs here. Now I'll just mention the verbs and their meanings here. The rest you see that Khashina, Khashia, Khashina, Khashu. You realize that here it is on this chamber the verbs are attached to a na alpha elin. Na. When you look at this chamber, you realize that the verbs are attached to alif list name. Khashiya, Radiya, Sarwa. There is Alif is known here. And then when you look here, you see Nun Niswa. Okay. Khashina, Radina, Saruna, Nahuna, Da'auna. This is Nun Niswa. And then this last chamber has to do with the Wawul Jama'a. Khashu, Radu, Saru, Nahu, Da'au, Alaw. Okay. So I'll just give the meanings of this part. It says Khashi to Rabbi. And I feared my Lord. Khashi to Rabbi, I feared my Lord. Radhi to be nasibi. When we say nasib, portion or share, S H A R E. So your portion is, when I say my portion, nasibi, my portion. Say Radhi to be nasibi. I'm pleased with my portion, with my share. Or I got pleased with my share. Okay. Saru to be jaddi. The verb here is sarwa. And sarwa means to go high, to become honorable, okay, to get some sharaf in your life. So that is to become I antakuna sharifan. Zakulna sarwa rajulu bimana asbaha sharifan. I need a man has become honorable. So saru to be jaddi, I became honorable, I gained honor with my grandfather. Bijiddi, afwan, bijiddi. Because you can see my PDF. If you have the book, it is better. Sometimes even the dot in the PDF is not showing. Sometimes the print is very bad. Saru to be jiddi. Jiddi means my hard work. Jaddi is my grandfather. So I became, I gained honor with my hard work. Okay. Nahu to be tajarubi. Nahua, the verb is nahua. And when we say nahua is to become akilan, to become very, um, to become the key, I and to kuna the key. When we say Nahu al Rajulu or Nahu al Waladu, the man I saw al Waladu the key. The boy has become smart to become very smart. So when he says here, Nahu to be Tajarubi, I, I became smart with my experiences. Tajarub is experiences. Okay, and then it says, Da outu ahi, I called my brother. Da outu ahi, I called my brother. Allah to be adabi. Allah is to go high. 
okay, to rise. So, allow to be added, I rose with my manners. And I had manners, and that is what got me high. Okay. Madaitu fi tariki. Mada is to pass. So, when I say madautu, madaitu fi tariki, yani I went on my path. Madaitu fi tariki, yani I went on my path. I was moving, something was happening. أنا لم ألك النظر إليها كان هناك شيء يحدث ولكني لم ألك النظر إليه أنا مديت في طريقي I went on my path says قضيت ديني قضيت ديني عفوا قضيت ديني دين is um, alone دين is a debt قضى is to pay it off قضيت ديني I paid my debt I paid my debt. Estad'ai tu sahibi. Estad'a means to invite. Okay. Estad'ai tu sahibi. I invited my friend. E'etalai tu al-muhra. E'etala is to climb upon something. To climb upon the higher part of something. Al-muhra is, I think, the younger version of a horse. Okay. The younger version of a horse. So basically you can take it like a horse. I climbed the young horse or the little horse. Okay, so you have the rest. You see how they come with the Dhamma Iraf Al Bariza, how they are written. The bath will explain for us critically how what is going on. It says Kullu Mithalin fil Minal Amthilati Sabikati. يشتمل على فعل ماض ناقص. All the previous examples contain a فعل ماض ناقص. فعل ماض ناقص is the فعل that has a weak ending. ألف أو واو أو ياء. Okay. Says وقد أس أسندت وقد أسندت الأفعال فيها إلى تاء الفاعل وناء وألف الاثنين ونون النسوة. Wawawul jama'ah. Okay, the verb has been connected to these pronouns. It says, Wabi ta'amul al-af'ali tara anna al-fa'ilayni khashiya wa radiya akhiruhu maya. If you should look at the verbs, bi ta'amul al-af'ali. If you should look at the verbs well, you realize that the verbs khashiya, that is one of them, and then also we have here radiya. These two verbs their endings is yai. Akhiruhuma ya. Okay. And it says wa anna al-fa'ilayni. And that the two verbs sarwa wa nahwa. These two verbs they also end with wow. Akhiruhuma wow. Wa anna al-fa'ilayni. And that the two verbs da'a wa ala. These two verbs they are also thulathiyani. They are also three letter verbs. Aslu al-fihima wow. The alif at the end here, the root of it is wow. Okay, the verb is ending with alif or right, but then the root of this alif, the root of this alif is actually wow. Okay, how do you know that the root is wow? When you want to know the the root of a the ending of a verb that ends with alif, you, you try to change it to mudari or the masdar. When you change it to mudari, it becomes yad'un ala ya'lu. So you realize that the alif is actually wow. So when you have a verb and there is alif in there, the alif is actually having its original either wow or yai. Okay. So the verbs da'a and ala, they are three letter verbs. They are the root of their alif, aslu alifihima, wow. The root of the alif is wow. Li'annaha. Wow, لأنها واو في مضارعهما as I said because when you come to the مضارع it is actually wow look at it يدعو يعلو so the root is actually wow and then he says وأن الفعلين مضى وقضى ثلاثيان أصل ألفهما ياي we have the verbs مضى to pass قضى to pay off you know قضى also comes with the meaning of to spend Qada also comes with the meaning of to pronounce judgment for a qadiyya, for a case. 
So mother and qada, the sulasiyani, they are also three-letter verbs. Aslu alifihima ya'un. The root of their alif here, the alif at the end here, is actually ya'i. How do you know? You say mother, what do you say? Yamdi qada. The mudari becomes yaqdi. So the endings are actually ya'i. Firstly, annaha ya'un fi mudari'ihima. Because it is yai in the Amudari, when you look at it, even though here, that is why I like it when it is yai, you put the dot there. When it is alif, maksur, don't put the dot. Because they are written in the same manner. The dot is what differentiates them. Okay. So here is yamudi and then yaqdi. So it means that the alif at the end is yai. It says, وَأَنَّ الْفِئِلَيْنِ إِسْتَدْعَى وَإِئَتَلَى And that the two verbs, إِسْتَدْعَى and إِئَتَلَى these two verbs says tazidu ahrufu kullu ahrufu kulli minhuma ahrufu kullin minhuma ala thalasa yani the letters in here are more than three so they are not three letter verbs they end with alif and they are not three letter verbs is tad a tala okay jamil so these are the points you should note before even the explanation so he says that وإذا رجعنا الآن إلى إلى الأمثلة لمعرفة ما حدث فيها من التغيير بعد إسنادها إلى ضمائر الرفع البارزة. So if we should go back to the amsila to know ما حدث to know what happened فيها in the verbs من التغيير from changes what happens what changes happen to the verbs. بعد إسنادها إلى ضمائر الرفع البارزة. After we connected the verbs to the ضمائر الرفع. What are the changes that occurred? He says رأينا أن الأفعال المعتلة الآخر رأينا أن الأفعال المعتلة الآخر إذا أسندت إلى واو الجماعة إذا أسندت إلى واو الجماعة If the verbs that has weak endings If they are connected to واو الجماعة حذف منها حرف الإلا. The حرف الإلا is deleted. وبكيت الفتحة قبل الواو في المعتل بالألف. And that if the verb was originally معتل الآخر بالألف, if the verb used to end with ألف, the ألف will be deleted. And then the فتحة before the ألف will be left. I'll go back and show it to you very well. Here it says ودمة. You see my dot did not come on there. This one is actually dad. If you have the book, you would see that. وَدُمَّ مَا قَبْلَهَا فِي غَيْرِهِ And if the ending is not alif, and it is either waw or yai, and it is put in connection with waw al-jama'a, there will be dhamma before the waw. كَمَا يُشَاهِدُ فِي الْأَمْسِلَةِ الْكِسْمِ الْخَامِسِ As it is seen in this category. In this category here. Okay? As it is seen here in this chamber. Okay, you see, khashu. Why is it dhamma? Because the harf illa that has been deleted is not alif. Radu, the harf illa is radiya khashiya. The harf illa is yai. It has been deleted and the haraka remaining is dhamma. Saruwa, the verb is actually saru, the verb is actually saruwa. So the harf al-illa at the end is waw. Nahu, the harf al-illa that has been omitted is waw, so the dhamma remains. Da'aw, why is it that we are having waw and before the waw we are having fatha? Because the harf al-illa that was omitted was alif. Alaw, the harf al-illa omitted is alif, and so you find fatha before the waw. Alaw, you find fatha because it was originally ala, da'a. And so when the alif is omitted, the verb remains as it is. Madaw was originally mada, and then qadaw was originally qada. So those that have alif ending, the alif is deleted, and then the fatha remains. Aside that, whichever comes when the harf illa is omitted, we keep dhamma. Okay. Let's go on. It says... وَأَنَّ الْأَفْعَالَ الَّتِي آخِرُهَا يَاءٌ أَوْ وَاءٌ The verbs whose ending are yai or waw 
la yahdusu fiha taghirun inda al-isnad those that has yai or wow ending there is no changes in it when we do isnad of it ila ta okay when we connect it to ta there is no changes in the verb wa na and when you connect it to na also wa alif al-isnain wa nun al-niswa when you connect it to alif al-isnain and nun al-niswa there is no changes in what verbs that ends with yai and wow let me show you we have here it is coming into contact with tau domma na alfa ilin alif al isnain and nun al niswa okay you find that the verb ends with yai so see here the yai is there hashitu hashina the yai is there hashi hashiya the yai is there hashina the yai is there raditu radina radiya radina the yai is there the ones that ends with wow also look at it sarutu nahutu nahuna saruna sarwa nahuwa nahuna saruna the wow is there so the full verb is there nothing is deleted we don't omit anything we only omit when the weak ending verb comes into contact with wow al jamaa in that case we omit the weak letter and if the weak letter we omitted was alif there will be fatha before the wow if the weak letter we omitted was yai or wow there will be dhamma before the wow al jamaa okay that is what that paragraph is also telling us and he says that um وأن الأفعال التي آخرها ياء أو واو لا يحدث فيه تغيير عند الإسناد إلى التاء وناء وألف الاثنين ونون النسوة. This is what we just saw. So when you have a weak ending verb that has ياء أو واو, you put it together with all the دمائر الرفع except except واو الجماعة. The verb, all the letters will show. Okay. Then he says وأن الأفعال الثلاثية and that the three-letter verbs التي آخرها ألف the three letter verb whose ending is alif مثل دعا و على like دعا and على و مضى و قضى ترد ترد الالف فيها الى اصلها عند الاسناد الى التاء او نا او الف الاثنين او نون النسوة so the verbs who, whose ending is alif the weak ending verbs whose ending is alif when we do their isnad to the ta or na alfa ilin or alif al isnain or nun al niswa you, you can see clearly that wa al jamaa is not part because when we do it is not wa al jamaa we delete the weak ending letter we delete the alif but when we do it is not to ta na alif al isnain or nun al niswa what happens you raddul turaddul alif fiha ila asliha the alif is returned back to its asl as we shown you, sometimes the alif is actually yai, sometimes the alif is actually wow. Okay, it says famarratan tuqlabu wawan. Sometimes it is converted, changed to wow. Kama fi da'a, as we can see in da'a. Wa marratan tuqlabu ya'an. And sometimes it is changed to ya. Kama fi mada. So when you look at verbs like da'a, when you are connecting da'a to tau, you say da'au tu. Da'auna. Okay. Look at it here. We have the verbs. Uh, Da'a here. See Da'autu. Da'auna. Da'awa. Da'auna. It has been changed to wow. When you look at the whole of this portion. Because the, the verbs are Da'a and ala, And their alif is actually wow. So in connection with the Dhamma'ir Rafun except Wa'ul Jama'a, we convert the Alif to its original source. Okay. Then we look at the two, these two chambers also. Mada and Qada, whose root is actually Yai. What happens? We say Madaitu. We change the Alif to Yai. Madaitu. Qadaitu. Madaina. Qadaina. Madaya. Qadaya. Madaina. Qadaina. Jamil, okay. And that is also that. And then we come to وَأَنَّ الْأَفْعَالَ الزَّائِدَةَ عَلَى ثَلَاثَةِ أَحْرُفٍ 
واخرها الف تقلب الفها يا دائما so the verbs that are الزائدة على ثلاثة على ثلاثة أحرف الأفعال الزائدة على ثلاثة أحرف verbs that are more than three letters verbs so in here we are looking at إتلا and استدعى they are more than three letter verbs what happens their ending is what ألف آخرها ألف their ending is ألف and so what do we do تقلب تقلب ألفها يا أن The alif is changed to yai. The alif is always changed to yai. Da iman in dal isnad ila abdama iris sabiqa. When we are connecting it to the pronouns. Look here. These are the verbs being talked about. We have istadaitu. Istadaina. Istadaya. Istadaina. And then we have the istadawa. Istadawa. That is, as we've already said, when it has a weak ending, the weak ending is deleted when it comes into contact with wow. So, hello. Here, the alif is deleted completely. So, this is the area we are talking about. These ones. You find that the alif has become yai. 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 Talaitu. Talaina. Talaya. Talaina. Okay. Now, so we come to the kawaid. It says that. إذا أسند الماضي الناقص إلى واو الجماعة حذف حرف الإلة وبقيت الفتحة قبل الواو إذا كان المحذوف ألفا والضم ما قبل ما قبلها إذا لم يكن ألفا. So the weak ending verb if it come into contact with the واو الجماعة which is part of the ضمائر الرفع if the فعل الناقص comes into contact with the واو الجماعة the حرف الإلة is deleted. If the harf al-illa deleted is alif, you find fatha before the wawul jama'a. If the harf al-illa deleted is yai or waw, you find dhamma before the wawul jama'a. Okay. It says, إِذَا كَانَ آخِرُ الْمَاضِي أَنَّاقِسْ يَاءً If the ending of the maadhi is ya, is harf ya, or wawan or waw, وَأُسْنِدَ إِلَى غَيْرِ الْوَاوْ and we put it into contact with the dhamair al-rafu except waw min al-dhamair al-bariza yani dhamair al-rafu al-bariza if you put the verb that ends with yai or waw into contact with the dhamair al-rafu except waw fa innahu la yahdusu fihi tagheer there is no changes the verb remains as it is all the letters are available okay it says idha kana akhiru al-maadi al-naqis alifan وَأُسْنِدَ إِلَىٰ غَيْرِ الْوَاو If the ending of the fail ماضي is alif وَأُسْنِدَ إِلَىٰ غَيْرِ الْوَاو and we put it into contact with دمائر الرفو except واو فَإِن كَانَ سُلَاثِيًّا رُدَّتِ الْأَلِفُ إِلَىٰ أَصْلِهَا If it is three-letter verb the alif is returned back to its أصل whether it is yai or واو you will determine it وَإِنْ زَادَ عَلَىٰ ثَلَاسَ If the verb is more than three-letter verb, قُلِبَتِ الْأَلِفُ يَا أَنْ The alif is changed into يَاي So always, if it is more than three-letter verb and it ends with alif, you put it into contact with the دمائر الرفع That is the تَا, the نَا, the alif will be slain and the نُونُ النِّسْوَ The alif will be turned to يَاي always. Okay? جميل. So this brings us to the end of this particular sort of session. Inshallah, in our last lesson, it is still on the sarfiyat. We will look at some of the pieces of the sarfiyat, inshallah. And then gradually we will come back into the nahu. And then we continue from there. We have to make a blend of the nahu and the sarf. Okay, the book has been arranged very, very, very nicely. So inshallah, this will be our next topic. If you understand this very well, the ones we've done right now very well, you can move in and start reading the next topic. If not, you have any queries, please do well. And put your answers in the comment sessions. Those that have my contact can contact me right away and send their questions to me. I will do my best to clarify things as much as possible. Till we meet again, have a very good time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.